We regret to announce the death of Leonard Ogis, former employee of Inland Revenue, originally from Soufre, who passed away at Memorial Hospital in Jacksonville, Florida, on Monday, 6 February 2012. He was 73 years old. Left to mourn his wife, Marie Bodas and family in Jacksonville, Florida, USA. His ex-wife, Mary Ogis of Grand Riviere, Groselais. Nine children, Mark Ogis in East London, England. Garfield Ogis of Grand Riviere, Groselais. Jonathan Ogis of Kako, Babono. Al Majel of Rodney Heights, Groselais. Jasmine Ogis of Grand Riviere, Groselais. Anita Antoine Gerald and family in Texas, USA, Petra Poloin and family of Chuzel, Ephraim Eugene and family of Soufre, Vencilia Lamontine and family in Canada, two godsons including Raphael Germain of Monier, Janelle Sayers in Jacksonville, Florida, three brothers, deceased Joseph Lawrence Ogis and family of Soufre, Deceased Brian Ogis and family in the UK, Sylvester Ogis and family in the UK. One sister, Fina Monroe's and family. Sixteen grandchildren, including John T. Ogis in the UK, Kelma and Michaela Jean of Montessori Center, Jai and Keon Ogis of Montessori Center, Isil. And Twy Ogis of Camille Henry Primary School, Chudius Ogis of Tiny Hands Preschool, Sons in law, Kelvin Jean, Daughters in law, Alison Tepi Ogis in the UK, Sylvia Bernard Ogis in St. Lucia, Aisha Walcott Ogis in St. Lucia, also left to moon. Loy Alexis and family in New Jersey, USA. Joseph and Martha Sayers and family in St. Augustine, Florida. Oliver Dubois and family in West Palm Beach, Florida. Eldine Henry, Christopher, Mano, Cuffbutt and Gilbert Mongu and their families in Jacksonville, Florida. Randy, Leonard, William Emanuel and family, Brother B and Grandison all in New York. Marcelin Emanuel and family in St. Croix, George Ferguson, Harry Constantine, Bernard, Lincoln John, Javis, Lambert, Teresa Angus, T. Paul, and Murray, all in the U.S. Many other relatives and friends, both here and abroad, too numerous to mention. The funeral service of the late Leonard Ogis will take place on Thursday, 1st March, at the St. Joseph the Worker Parish at 3 p.m., and then to the Groselay Cemetery for burial. For persons in the Soufre Fosse Jacques area wishing to attend the funeral service, TX1009 will be leaving Soufre Fire Station at 1 p.m. to the Groselay Church and back.